Tom Flowers here from TFCC. We're going to do some basics of batting today. We're going to look at how to set up, taking guard, and the sort of things we look at early on in our innings. Okay, so first things first, when I go out to bat, I want to create, try and create a nice presence at the crease. And that's for two reasons. Number one, so that I start to feel confident, okay, or at least if I don't feel it, I look it. And number two, to try and take the initiative of the game to the opposition before I even face the ball. So again, chest out, trying to walk straight confidently. It's not an arrogance, some may argue it is, but it's trying to look as confident as possible. Okay, when I get out there, obviously, take middle stump. I tend to take middle stump. Reason for that being, always done it, it's the most basic, simple focal point I can revert back to, meaning my head is in line with the ball every time as consistently as possible. Some players do it differently. I tend to like to do it with a stud, you can do it on the outside, inside, again, edge of your bat. There's some real novel ways of doing it, but try and keep it as simple, but more importantly, consistent as possible. Okay, then get out to bat. The biggest thing I often see when out to bat is guys are dictated to by the opposition. They are rushed by the opposition to face the very first ball. Okay, when I try and bat, I try and make it about myself and dictating the pace of the game. And that starts from ball one. So I'm not interested yet in facing a ball. I'll pull away and whilst I'm doing this, I'm looking around, I'm looking at the following things. I'm looking at the field. I should already have been doing that. I'm seeing where the singles are. I need to look at, early on, where I'm getting off strike, both on the onside and the offside. They're the key things to start with for me. Okay, is there an easy off strike ball? Secondly, obviously what the bowler is doing. Now, if we're talking about opening the batting here or going in for my first ball, I need to look at what the bowler's doing. As I said, I'm taking middle, I'm looking at getting in good positions, trying to keep my head in line, leaving where I can. Most importantly, knowing where my off stump is. That's the most important thing when going out to bat and the basics of my setup. Okay, if I just show you my stance here, feet just slightly wider than shoulder width. I guess I've got quite a traditional stance. Hands are quite close to my body, rather more traditionally English for the moving ball rather than sort of the Australian, maybe Southern Hemisphere way of hands away from the body where you can free up, especially off the back foot. So my hands are quite tight. I'm then just looking for rhythm. Okay, that'll come from practice. You don't want to be thinking rhythm whilst you're waiting to bat. That'll come from having practiced enough balls in training. And then simply tap, tap, I'll look up, ready to face the ball. And I'm trying to get my hands in a good position here. As I say, not too tight but not too far away where I can freely play wherever I need to play. Okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to face a couple of balls. This is early on in my innings. Look to try and play, as I say, quite tight. But what we're looking at is real simple, quick, sharp, definite, confident movements. Forward or back, I want my head as still as possible, lining the ball up as early as possible. Take a note of trying to keep my eyes level, my feet shoulder position and hopefully moving in sync. My feet and shoulder will be working together here. Okay, let's give it a go for a few balls. Okay, most important points in my setup really is I want to try and get my head and my shoulders slightly forward at the bowler. I believe that if you're not that strong with your footwork, especially early on, getting forwards, what it allows me to do is any slight smaller stride or not quite into the ball, I'm still guaranteeing some form of power and momentum into the shot. 
So head and shoulder for me are crucial. I'll show you what that looks like side on. If I'm pushing my head at the ball, my shoulder goes, I know. If I then need to go forwards, I can just get there easily. And it just allows a bit more leeway if your feet aren't quite working, which early on, I know personally, can be a real issue of mine. So that's something I look for. And then all we're looking at really is, as I say, everything working together. So if I'm going forward, it's one positive movement, not on the walk. I see lots of players walking overbalanced. Leg strength here is key, obviously picking line and length early. Forward, one step, bang. Again, back is the same thing. I'm really still, no trigger. Back, in, play. Still. And I'd advise all players, where possible, when practicing, to hold that position. If you get practicing holding your position for as long as possible, you'll find your balance in a game at that critical, crucial moment becomes a lot better. 